Hey guys, it's NCS Man 001 here. I'm back from old SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. And now I gotta go into the freaking Big Top. So now we gotta do one of the most annoying things in the game. We gotta go jump to the top of the Big Top thingy. Like more freaking doubloons. That's all it is. Just collecting doubloons and catching jellyfish and climbing up giant random crap in a random crap place. I hate the carnival. It's so stupid. I freaking hate the carnival. Carnivals are a waste of time. I gotta catch ourselves another jellyfish. You stung me! You will die! Where did you go, jellyfish? Oh, you will die for that. Yeah, that's how it works. Put those random floating pants. Now I gotta go jump all the way over here. A random camera glitch. Gotta go over here. Like more random crap that no one cares about. Watch out for the freaking clowns. It's like, what the heck is that clown doing? He's like chasing his face with a coin on a hook. What the heck is wrong with you? Somehow that makes him disappear. Okay, guys, enough of that voice. Hey, guys, it's CSB number one here. I'm going to some more SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Okay, we gotta go through the big top now. Ah, uh, this is not that difficult of a letter tile. Uh, try not to fall off, though. Yeah, it's, a, it's not that difficult. I mean, it's just some simple platforming type stuff. Oh, this part, the trapezes. These are kind of annoying. Something that's actually kind of cool is the audience will end up, like, cheering for you and, uh, whistling and all if you do something good. And if you fall down, they'll actually sometimes, like, boo you. It's kind of funny, actually. It's kind of a cool little Easter egg, almost. This isn't a very... This one's not too difficult, though. It's just climbing. Whoa, yeah. Watch out for the giant rolling device there. And watch out for the idiot clowns that'll try to bite you. Bad move. I could have killed you if I had wanted. But I'm a good... I'm a good person. I don't kill stuff just because it bites me. Actually, yes, I do, unless it's my dog. Other than my dog, I... Other than my dogs and... Well, other family friend dogs, uh... I will probably kill it if it attacks me. I'm ta I'm thinking of, like, lizards and other little stuff like that that might bite you. Exactly what I mean. It's actually very easy to fall off on that one for some reason. A trapeze is a little bit harder to get on, but whatever. At least we didn't fall all the way down, so we don't have to restart it. Let's try that again. He's like holding his hand up, I don't know why. Okay, let's try this again, without failing. Yay! Probably jump up to that one, but I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, this is the last ledge. Oh, I've got a green jellyfish down here to catch. That's kind of nice to give you a ledge in case you were to fall off like I almost did right there. I'm apparently lacking basic platforming skills. Okay, so aim for the bullseye, and you'll land right on the letter tile. That's it. And now let's see if they boo us. Sometimes they'll boo you. I don't know why they didn't. Alright, so we've done that. I've uh, collected the majority of doubloons and jellyfish, though. We don't have too many more to collect. Let's go collect this jellyfish. Are there any doubloons up here? Yes, there are. Uh, how many more do we need? 225 and 25. So we need 7 more jellyfish and 35 more doubloons. Not too bad, but it might take a little while. Shump, of course, ought to have enough of that stuff with it.
Okay, let's come out here. I believe we have already been here once before to collect the stuff from the spinner. Jeez, I'm having a hard time. The pink jellyfish is like my nemesis. It's it's the hardest for me to collect for some reason, just because it flies in a pattern like that. I don't swing over the water, or you're probably gonna fall in, and that's instant death. Uh, over there, you can jump over there, there's stuff in the barrels and all, it's not really a big deal though, unless you're going for everything, as I've said before, you don't really have to go for everything. I'm not, so you don't have to, you might, I don't know, I really don't know what you guys are here to watch. I hope you're here to watch me playing this game. This jellyfish just swing around in a pretty easy to catch circle. I said it was supposed to be an easy to catch circle. Jeez! Wow, that jellyfish is actually very elusive. Come on, jellyfish. Come on! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Just let me catch you and kill you so Larry can eat you already, please. Finally, thank you. It took like three minutes. That's, that's kind of bad. Okay, so once you've done that, we've collected virtually everything we need to here. Not really worrying about those balloons or anything else that's here just because we're about to enter the jump hut course. Jump hut! Uh, this is the last mini game of the area. Okay, Chumpa is a golf course, effectively. So I collect some more easy balloons, apparently. Oh, I maybe collected about enough. This may take a little while if I'm failing as bad as I am today. Uh, the object of the course is to hit all those targets with a golf ball, as they will explain later. I'm gonna more jellyfish I have to collect. Oh, I have to collect one more jellyfish. Oh, you suck, game. Oh, shoot. Don't fall, please. Uh, I suggest that you want to prepare the course. Okay, we have enough jellyfish. I suggest preparing the course by killing any clowns or jellyfish that might get in your way. Now, surprisingly, that goop down there is not instant death like some goop is. Yay, letter tile! Alright, this jellyfish might actually get in our way a bit. Uh, part of the course, as you can see, is to go through these pistons. Uh, that will be better explained later, because, but you're not actually supposed to do that. There's a different way you're supposed to do it. Uh, I took out the yellow jellyfish before he attacks us. Whoa, I like one hit killed him. I thought they took two hits to kill, maybe not. Is that one you have to get up pretty close to get? Ha, ah, pink jellyfish. So yeah, I think here he'll tell us the objective of the game. Now let's go on and change it to Reef Blower. Just resets the music, it doesn't actually change. You wanna just roll around to play this game? I can do that. The object of Chum Putt is to roll this ball to the top of the course. But You've got to hit all the goals along the way. Let's... Sounds simple enough. It's kind of annoying at times. It's not one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, you'll get nine doubloons out of it, so... Keep that in mind. Now, that goo down there, it's not instant death if you touch it. But, uh, if the ball rolls into the goop at any point, it'll come back down to here, so it'll pretty much make you do the entire course all over again. So, you obviously don't want to do that. So, apparently, you need... One thing I was thinking about about this is that... Apparently, you need a reef blower to play. So, so I guess that they don't even give you a reef blower to borrow. So, apparently, if you don't own one, you'll never play Chum Putt. And there's no real reward for it once we take every once we take the letter tile. There's no reward for it. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Or Plankton could just open up a gift shop and sell reef blowers in it. You could steal reef blowers and then sell them. Yeah, that goop down there. If, you, if the ball falls in, it'll roll all the way back to the start, so that, that's kind of annoying. It makes it 
makes that really weird glitchy sound. If you can get the ball through there, I really want to know or see a video response of it. But what you really want to do is just go this way. Just go on and roll the ball over here. I'll be very careful here that it doesn't roll into the goop like it... Oh shoot, don't... Oh my god, that was close. I thought that was going to roll in. I managed to save it. Just keep on rolling it. Once you get it to this point, you're safe from the goop, so that's kind of nice. Aw, oh, you jerk. If I missed a target along the way or something, which I may have, that would be, that would just suck, honestly. Oh no, I didn't. I got them all. From when I thought I might have missed a target. SpongeBob's got a stupid happy face like my dog does whenever I scratch his, whenever I scratch him. Not scratch SpongeBob, I'm talking about my dog. Yeah, my dog get like whenever I scratch him, he always has like a really funny grin on his face. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna roll it up this last hill. Hit it into a couple more targets. That's it! Finish the course! So, as you can see, we are still missing the letter G, and the reason is that, well, we can't get it yet. We cannot get the letter G just yet. We will need to complete Goo Lagoon first. I might actually title this video The Elusive Jellyfish, even though we got other stuff done. Just because of that, uh... Oh, shoot. Uh, am I gonna be able to make this jump? Please? Yay, I don't have to die now. Ah, uh, since we've pretty much completed Chum World, though, as far as we can go, I'm going to go on and cut off the uh, video here. So, next time, we will enter Goo Lagoon. I shall see you guys then.